Fight On rings loudly and continuously throughout each Trojan home football game at the Los Angeles Coliseum. This series started here in 1926. Three seasons missed during World War II. But somehow it seems a little louder when the Fighting Irish come to visit. This time around, 9-2 Southern California is ranked 6th. 10-1 Notre Dame is ranked 7th in the national polls. The first time both have been ranked in the top 10 since 1989, and the Coliseum is sold out. Marcel Almond and uh, Justin Fargus are the deep people. Fargus is the starting tailback, and Nicholas Setta, he's a junior out of Lockport, Illinois. Number 13 will kick it off. We've talked a lot about Notre Dame's defense. The Trojans ain't bad either. Here's the game, and as Knut Rockness said back in 1925, the game is on. It's Fargus. And he breaks one tackle. Writing the last pages of Carson Palmer's collegiate football career, well, he's a far better player today than he was a year ago. Sultan McCullough in a little change of gears opens at the deep back position. He is a speedster. Palmer's pass is away under pressure. The pass is completed to Alex Holmes, the tight end. And Holmes is up just about to the first down marker. AT&T Wireless starting lineup for the Trojans, backs and receivers. This may be the best receiving core that Notre Dame has faced this entire season. We told you Fargus is the hammer, but Sultan McCullough is behind him with a I mean, great lightning speed. Offensive line, they've shuffled a lot of people around tonight. Graf is starting at center. Katnick can play if he's needed, but he is tender. McCullough remains in at the deep back. And that's Kerry Colbert going in motion. McCullough gets the ball, goes around the left side, finds daylight, and may very well have another first down. They're talking to Fargus about his left hand, it appeared. That was Kennedy Polo with him. The ball is thrown quickly outside on second down and one to Kerry Colbert. The Notre Dame defense, this side has been the principal force for the Irish this season. Ryan Roberts' defensive end has eight sacks. Linebackers, Courtney Watson leads the team in tackles with 83. Goals with 13 tackles for loss. That tells you they're across the line of scrimmage a lot. In the secondary, cornerback Shane Walton has seven interceptions. Everybody but one has scored one way or the other back there. The two, Fargus now is in the game at tailback for USC. Carson Palmer back, penalty flag. Farron, the referee. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty, still first down. Trojans will give up. Pete Carroll is his own defensive coordinator. Palmer back after the penalty, throws to the outside. Ball is caught by Williams. Mike Williams gets into a pretty good head button match over there. And he's McKenzie in there now, a very good receiver. It's second down and eight for USC. Little quick pop to the outside. They're trying to get Kareem Kelly cranked up and moving, but they play him very well. It's third down. Short four, long three, however you like it. On the back, gets a pass away. The ball is caught. It will not be a first down as uh, Malapo McKenzie has Duff waiting uh, back just inside the 10 yard line for it. High kick, spinning, and the Trojans coming down trying to kill it, and they do. 17 touchdowns the last 19 times in this area. The pass down the middle hits the defender in the back, and it is incomplete. It is a 36-yard field goal try for Ryan Killeen. It is Tom Malone holding. Snap good, kick, low, missed it. Almost whiffed it. <laughs> First down at the 20-yard line. And Carlisle Holiday sets him up. Hands the ball to Grant. Grant over the right side. This time finds a little bit of room and picks up a good four yards on the carry. And Holiday keeps the ball. Very active, very mobile quarterback. Gets the pass away under pressure. Caught by Omar Jenkins. Big play for Jenkins. First down, Notre Dame. Number five, top of the picture. First down, Irish, 42-yard line. Run the ball with Grant. Grant takes a pop from number 51. <laughs> he has a lot of room to look for where he wants to go before he goes. And uh, Holiday keeps it. Looks and has a lot of time. Now gets some heat. But again, he's very agile. He's very dangerous. He can run the ball with the best of them. 
and he's finally taken down at the Southern California 26-yard line. 29-yard pickup on the play, and now the Irish have a threat going from the Trojan 26 as Holiday throws the ball, and it is caught in the air. Arnez Battle has it. They're down on the 20-yard line, second down and four. Battle gives it to Wilson, and he has a greeting. Holiday throws the ball to the end zone. It is incomplete, overthrown. Pass intended for Gary Gutsy to settle for a field goal try. The ball is going to be kicked from the 24-yard line. It'll be a 34-yard try for Nicholas Setta. In the air, looks good, is good. And the Irish go to the lead on the field goal from 34 yards. Dangerous to have a freshman return kicks too. As it is, but Dennis got great speed and they kick it right at him. And he takes it on the six. And here he comes. And penalty flags all over the place. The ball comes up. The Irish dive and I think they've got it. They do. Dennis goes down in a pile. The ball comes spurting out. They got double wide at the top of the screen. Holiday stands up and he looks that way and he throws that way and it is wild and beyond all. Buchanan now has moved over at a corner to get a little more height in there. And Rideau has come out. They run the ball. Ball coming down to the left side and it's a pretty good game by Ryan Grant. Third down and four. Grant's the deep back. You've got three wide outs at the top of your picture. And the ball's going to go there, and it is a penalty flag. Penalty is against Notre Dame, so the ball will be put down at the 22-yard line, a 32-yard field goal try by Nicholas Setta. He's one for one as they lead three to nothing, and this one is also good. It is six to nothing, Notre Dame, at three minutes and 46 seconds to play in the first quarter. Carlisle Holiday on the phone upstairs. His team uh, leading six to nothing. Eleven times this season, uh, Joey Hillbold has knocked the ball out of bounds inside the ten-yard line. He just did it very well against Southern California. Towards the start at their own seven, and the ball is handed to Justin Fargus, and Fargus. Penalty flags. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still second down. No penalties on the Irish. Palmer to throw it. Rolls it out of the end zone. Gets it away down to the sidelines. That ought to get a flag. No, it doesn't. The pass is complete. Mike Williams. Palmer keeping, comes back this way with it. Ball complete to carry Colbert. And Colbert is out of bounds. Well, get your first down. They go for the first down. Fargus. And he has it. Outside, quickly to Williams. Up to the 40. Second down. Long three. There's the first down, and then some as Fargus turns it on. He's got great speed. He was a state sprint champion at Notre Dame High School. Fargus, the single back. Williams coming back toward the ball. Back to Fargus. And Justin is inside the 10 to the 8. Palmer rolls it out. Throws it back. And it is uh, Jacob Rogers, tackle eligible. Third down and three. Palmer going to the corner. He's wide open. Mike Williams, touchdown. It's alone in the end zone. Galeen for the extra point is good. And the Trojans go to the lead for the first time. These folks did a nice job putting things back together. Southern California dismantled the Buffaloes, 40 to three early in the season, but they've come back. And Palmer's pass to the sidelines, thrown wide. And they fiddled away two plays.
Third and ten. Ball is thrown to the sideline. Thrown hard and drilled into Kerry Colbert. Colbert comes down with it. 145 year passes without interception now, and that's a new Southern California record. Ball just inside the 12 hash. As the ball is handed to Justin Fargus, a penalty flag goes down at, and he's thrown it because of false starts. The offense, We've had several of those in penalty. the game. Still first down. So we've got 6:15 to left to play in the second quarter. First down and 15. Loop it out there. Get some people blocking in front of Justin Fargus, and Justin mm -hmm. will get it back down uh, in the practice session. Second down. Call it 11. Palmer up, looking, throws, and that was thrown away. And there's a flag. Now, if this is pass interference, it's a bad call. Pass interference on the defense. Uh, that's a terrible down call. At the spot of the foul. Chad Pearson now is in the backfield with Justin Fargus. Palmer keeps it, going to run it. And he gets down to about the one, where he takes it a bit of pummeling. It's Fargus over the top. He's in there. Touchdown. And is there a flag? Yep. There's a flag. Illegal formation yep. on the offense. The illegal formation. Only six men on the line of scrimmage. The tight end. yard penalty. It is second down then and goal from the six. He'll probably throw. No, nope. give it back to Justin and he gets it down to the four. Mike Williams is the man at the bottom of your picture. Palmer goes into the end zone and it is incomplete. Intended for Mike Williams. And here's your field goal try by Ryan Colleen now. That's from 22 yards. Up. Good. This worm has turned, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Fourth down and 19. And Tom Malone is standing at his own 13. He hit it around the 16, unless he heard that block it. It goes into the end zone, and Notre Dame's covered it for a touchdown. Carlos Pierre Antoine blocked it, covered it. I don't know who blocked it. He did, Keith. He did. And at 107 to go in the first half, the Irish regain the lead, regain the momentum. Good kick to the one. Almond to the 25. And they bow their neck. Don't have much time. 102. Palmer back passes away. Pass caught by Mike Williams. Williams working in the secondary for a first down. He's up to the 38. Palmer under pressure gets it off. Pass is caught by Justin Fargus, who was waiting in the backfield. And, and he winds it. And we're at 40. And Palmer gives it and they run it. And uh, Vargas thrown short underneath again, and that's going to be another first down as Vargas goes to the 30 yard line. Palmer's pass is incomplete. Williams never had a chance to. Ball is thrown underneath again, and again, it's going to go for a first down, down to the 15-yard line, maybe the 14-yard line. Not the shotgun. Kerry Colbert, the wide out at the top. Malipo McKenzie, and there's the penalty flag. Ball, ball starts on the offense. Yeah. Five-yard penalty. Irish trying to protect it, going to the clubhouse. Kareem Kelly is the near man. Palmer back throwing. Passes away to the end zone. Touchdown, Mike Williams. It was forced. It was through the arms of Vontes Duff and into the waiting arms of Mike Williams. Snap was high, but the kick is good. And the Trojans go back to the lead, 17-13. Seven plays, 75 yards. They use a minute two, and we've got five seconds remaining to play in the first half. And Keith, they still have a timeout to use. 
They pop it up, trying to get the ball bouncing around. They go for it, and they have it. Grant Matos. You got one play, unless there's a foul. You got four wide outs. Now you got to protect your quarterback, and the Irish are going to bleed to get to him. Now he lets it go. How oh, that's thrown out of the ballpark. <laughs> That's over everybody's head and into the crowd. And no flags. The half is over. And uh, an Irish player is down at the 40-yard line. Level, level, level. That's what he brought. Southern California wins here tonight, and Washington State loses to UCLA. The Trojans will go to the Rose Bowl. That kick is well back into the end zone by Ryan Killeen. As we said, that's battle going in motion. He's the he's the, the point of that spear, the offensive spear for um, it is second down and six. Holiday's pass to the sideline is thrown over the head. Rota Good coming on a blitz, got right in his face, and the pass is incomplete. The eight yarder. They could use a big one here. They don't get it. The wobbly thing that rolls around and is going to roll dead at about the 44 yard line. So here are the Trojans now with their first possession of the second half as Palmer opens up, giving the ball to the tailback Fargus. He was caught behind the line of scrimmage. Palmer passes away down the middle pass is completed to Greg Matos Matos on the run down the middle of the field and the big guy goes all the way down to the 14 yard line Trojans leading 17 to 13 Fargus is the single back that's Kareem Kelly coming across to join Kerry Colbert give it to Fargus and again he's hit behind the line of scrimmage but Matos lines up on the right side Alex Holmes is right behind him we got two big guys on the right side of that offensive line. Carson Palmer back throws it in a hurry. He gets it to Malifo McKenzie. McKenzie, a running back, goes into the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Malifo McKenzie plays a lot of fullback. Started out as a tailback. The point is good. So the long punt by Hillbowl puts Southern California back on its 24-yard line for its second possession of the second half. Let's have a look at who's beat. It is Justin Fargus. You've got Williams. You've got Kelly. Palmer looks at Kelly. Goes for him. Way over his head. Incomplete. The potential was certainly there. Palmer's pass thrown quickly down the middle of the field, and again, it's Grant Matos making the catch, and he's close to that first down. Carson Palmer now has gone past 300 yards for the game tonight. He's at 309, and he's leading by 11 points. Notre Dame bouncing around on defense. Palmer's flushed out. Got to throw it. Throws it away. Here's Kerry Colbert now back to Palmer and Palmer now throws it down the middle and he's wide open. It's Alex Holmes, the tight end, the midfield. The old shoebox play. <laughs> he's pretty clever. Parson Palmer's pass thrown to the sidelines and Williams is double covered. Yep. Yeah. First and 15 now for USC as the ball comes back to the 45 yard line and a run it with Fargus. And the Irish jump him for a yard yeah, loss on the play. Might have a shot at it, might not, it depends, but regardless, I want the win no matter what. Passes away to the sideline. That pass is thrown well and caught by Kerry Colbert. It's a little bit short. But it's third down and four here for the Trojans. Heat's coming, passes away, and Kelly is going to get a flag. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. Notre Dame side of the field. 24-13. Trojans are leading. Palmer hands the ball to Fargus, and he pops free. Justin Fargus down to the 15-yard line. Legs are taken away by Glenn Earl. 
Vargas. Oh, he slipped past that first man, got down to about the 10. Second down and five from the 10 yard line. Vargas. Nothing doing this time. Number 44. Now on third down and six. He's the deep back. Little swing out to him. He's the speed burner. He stops, though, looking for a place to run. It'll be a 27 yard try for Ryan Colleen. He made from 22, missed from 35 tonight. And this one has a lot of leg, a lot of height, and soars into the net. Good. First down for the Trojans now as they go to work from the 47. Carson Palmer going down the sidelines for Colbert. Caught it in his hands. Good. Strength of these hands. Carry Colbert. Ball never, <laughs> ever bobbles at all. Nope. Two guys beating on him. He's become a very steady receiver. Here's Palmer rolling out. Wanted to throw it, now does, throws it away. Contact. No question. Doesn't have a lot of experience behind him in Castle and Lineart, that's for sure. <laughs> that's a pretty good run up the middle by Justin Fargus as he starts. Irish with a five man front right now. Palmer turns, gives to Fargus, and Fargus battling for the first down, and it would not appear that. And everything worked. From the 21 yard line, Southern California threatening again as they go back to McCullough. Remember this, he needs a fresh leg. He's got a good thing going. Run that horse till he gets tired, and uh, McCullough is going to be a little bit shorter, but their football teams have been very much a part of that broke. Third down and a yard and a half, and they pound it in the middle, and they're close to it. McCullough's a tailback, and they've got the first down at the 11-yard line. That's Kareem Kelly going over to join Curry Colbert, and they run Sultan McCullough through that little crack. Touchdown. Walked in. Good. 657. That's ranked number one. Number one. And this win tonight will help him even more. Hit that ball back. Go, go right. Come back left. Justin Farkas pounding away. And they finally get him on the ground. And now it's Malifo McKenzie in there as the tailback. So Malifo's going back in the final game of the season to where he started in the first game at tailback. And he'll pick up a couple of yards. <laughs> Professional wine nurse. <laughs> Mike Williams down to the 15-yard line. Kelly was out running around. First down on the 15-yard line, and the clock shows just over nine minutes to play in the game. That's Kareem Kelly. And Palmer gives the ball to McKenzie. And Malifo McKenzie eluded the that first man, that was Watson, and he will very much be in the picture come springtime. Fargus is the deep back. He gets it. And Justin Fargus will only... How heavy is that football? Not very. <laughs> Third down and five. And it's a rainbow to make. <laughs> and it's a touchdown. Hmm. He waited, he waited, he waited, he waited. <laughs> it's down the highway. The drums are pounding. Carson Palmer whips it out. Malifo McKenzie. I thought for sure the ball was going to be dropped right there. But he kept it on his fingers ever so gently. And then tiptoed into the end zone. Great concentration. Here's the kickoff to the nine yard line where it's taken by Arnez Battle. And Battle who started his career at Notre Dame is we'll see how many fingers you have when you open the car door the next time. 
The ball is thrown to the sidelines, and uh, he's on the chalk at the 35-yard line. Oh, he had some spin and bite on it. He's got some room in front of him. He might be tempted here. Now he's going to go on out of bounds and pick up his first down. This ball game, I think, as much as anything, was decided in the trenches by the, the, the USC defensive front. They just didn't give him any room. That ball is thrown sharply. Again, right into the arms of the receiver. Second down and ten. Incomplete. <laughs> Third down and ten, including Holiday. Overthrown. Greg Carlson is waiting. Had a big run, a uh, big return the last time. They kick it away from him this time, and he watches it go out of bounds. But I think the Notre Dame defense just wore out. I mean, they've been out there a lot longer than they anticipated that ball is thrown very quickly over to Kareem Kelly Kelly's a uh, streak of catching it is second down and five Justin Fargus the tailback Palmer gives it to him and Justin runs into some angry Irishman over there and Palmer throws it to Kelly and Kelly's in traffic, and he's going to come up short of his first down. Punted away with Tom Malone. Tom hasn't done a whole lot of work tonight. Sort of an end over end thing, going down the field and rolling around inside the 25 and down to the 23 yard line. Wore the jerseys the rest of the season and beat Texas 38 to 10 in the Cotton Bowl. Well, I would say that. that was, uh, Cotton Bowl's where Joe almost froze to death. The outcome of the game is no longer in doubt. At 4:10 to play, Carlisle Holiday gets his pass away and uh, diving attempt at it, and they'll give him the catch. It looks like because uh, Washington State's game against UCLA uh, next Saturday at the Rose Bowl will say something about who plays in the Rose Bowl, representing the Pac-10. It should be. It should be is correct. That's a sack back on the 20 yard line. Olamalu. It'll be third down and 22 now for Notre Dame. Out of the shotgun for Holiday. Now he throws it. And it's picked. Mike Pollard, the middle linebacker. Mike Pollard. The senior from Long Beach. <laughs> the legal substitution, breaking the huddle with 12. The side on the back on the other side. Five yard penalty. So the Trojans uh, break the huddle with 12 people on the field, and and a third of them are on the highway already. And it's Dennis getting the ball, and uh, Palmer's 425 passing yards is an Irish opponent record. They run it, just roll the clock. <laughs> Make Kelly Hayes proud. Be a bit of a sticky wicket, though, until he gets to the shower. <laughs> Running it again with Herschel Dennis. And he's one of the tailbacks of the future. <laughs> he had a good night. <laughs> he did, for a fact. Third down. They keep running it. And uh, Dennis bouncing outside threatens to pop one. But, and uh, there will be other Notre Dame USC ball games that will ring and echo across college football history, I'm sure. But it was a big night tonight for Pete Carroll and his project. Six hundred and ten yards of offense for USC in the ballgame tonight against a team that overall was ranked fifth in overall defense.